everyone, I'm Shika and I'd like to welcome you to my channel Chic Crochet. So today I'm going to show you how to make this top, the spider web top. It's really easy to do and really quick to make as well. I only used one ball and a bit for this top, um, so it's really economical as well. So if you want a really quick, easy and economical project, this is the video for you. You can choose to do this top in any color um, or you can also do it in multiple colors and create a design like that. So I opted to go for plain white this time round. After my flowers and ladders top, I think I have enough color to last me at least for the next few months. Okay, so this top is a made using two panels the front and the back so you have to do two identical panels and then attach them on the sides leaving space for the armholes um, I also show you how to do the stitch to join them together um, you can do any stitch you can even do a whip stitch with a needle but I've actually shown you how to do the stitch to join them together using your crochet hook Lastly, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. I've reached a little milestone, uh, 500 subscribers, actually a bit more now. Um, even YouTube actually sent me a message to congratulate me, so it's a little milestone in my journey. So if you haven't subscribed as yet, please do so now, and you will continue to receive my very quick, easy to do, and trendy wearable tutorials. Thank you very much and I do sincerely hope you enjoy the tutorial and you enjoy creating your spider web top. So for this project I will be using this yarn. It's called Bon Bon Classic. It is 100% acrylic and each ball consists of 100 grams. The recommended crochet hook size for this yarn is 5 millimeters, but if you've been following me you will know that I tend to go upper hook size or two in some cases because I prefer a looser stitch to my garments. Having said that, in today's project I will be using a 7 millimeter crochet hook. So this is a thicker yarn and I know that it's commonly used to make baby items such as blankets. I opted to use a thicker yarn for this project for a couple of reasons. Firstly, the thicker the yarn and the bigger the crochet hook, the larger the stitches and the larger the garment will be. And of course, I am making a plus size top. Secondly, the pattern stands up more with a thicker yarn than if I was using a thinner yarn and I really wanted the spider web effect to be noticeable. A thinner yarn would definitely cause the stitches to droop and I wanted the web design to be in place as well as noticeable. So for this project, you will need just over 100 grams of yarn so that's about one ball and a bit um, so yeah it's actually very economical to make this top as well not only is it quick but really economical as well so I completed my one piece and I have about that much yarn left so I might be able to squeeze my second piece but I think I'll probably go over and hence I've got my second ball of yarn here as well. Um, I got two for this project just in case I ran out. So like I said, you will need just over 100 grams of yarn because that's what's left. And I'm sure that's going to make most of my second piece. And I will just need a little wee bit from there. So to be on the safe side, get two balls of yarn. 
200 gram balls of yarn and if this yarn is not available in your country then by all means use something similar okay to begin with we are going to do two pieces that look like this okay it begins quite simply we just have to do double crochets in the first couple of rounds and then after that it's just trebles and chains by the fifth round we have started to do our corners as you can see we've done three trebles in one space here it's quite adjustable you just have to keep on adding rows till you get to your desired size so it's a nice adjustable piece like that and it actually works up really quick as well so let's get started okay so to begin with we are going to do a slip knot and we are going to do six chains and form a ring two three four five six go to the last chain and form a ring so for round one we are going to do 12 double crochets with a chain in between so we are going to start off with four chains that act as our double crochet plus a chain for the space in between and then in the ring we are going to do our double crochet and then a chain and then a double crochet chain double crochet chain double crochet and keep on going till you have 12 double crochets including the chains that we did in the beginning okay so I have made my 12 double crochets with a chain in between and I will just count those with you so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so in the third chain we are going to do a slip stitch and that completes our first round so for round two we are going to chain five and in the next double crochet we are going to make a double crochet so one two three four five and we are going to make a double crochet in the next in the chain on top of the double crochet from the previous round then we are going to chain three one two and three and then another double crochet in the next double crochet three chains double crochet three chains and a double crochet in the next double crochet and just continue that way till you reach the end of the round and I will tell you what to do so that's going to be a double crochet three chains double crochet three chains in each of the double crochets from the previous round so we are going to end round two by making a slip stitch in the third chain and that is a round two done so to begin round three we are going to chain nine and now we are going to start making trebles no more double crochets so chain nine and in the next double crochet we are going to make a treble 
in between the trebles will be chain 5. So, chain 9 to start off with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And now we are going to do a treble. So that's yarn over hook two times. And in the double crochet from the previous round, we are going to do a treble. And then we are going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then in the next double crochet, we're going to do a treble. So yarn over hook twice, pull out your yarn and then yarn over hook and go through two loops and go through two loops and then go through the final two loops and then chain five. Your next treble in the next double crochet. Okay, and just continue that way. A treble, five chains, a treble, five chains, till you reach the end of the round, and I will tell you what to do. Usually, at the end of the round, we just have to do a slip stitch, okay? So, I will show you how to do that, but um, you can do it by yourself if you want as well, okay? Okay, so I'm just approaching the end of round three. I've done my five chains and now we are going to end this round by doing a slip stitch in the fourth chain from those ch chains that we had done in the beginning. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and that completes round three. So from now onwards, whenever we are ending a round, we will do a slip stitch in the fourth chain. This acts as a treble. So the height of a treble is about four chains and hence we have to do a slip stitch in the fourth chain. Okay, so for round four, we are going to do 11 chains and then in between our trebles, we are going to do seven chains. So 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. And then we are going to do our treble. And the treble from the previous round. Okay, and now we are going to do seven chains. We had done five chains in the previous round, and now we're going to do seven as our piece grows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So that's what you're going to do for round four. Basically a treble and then seven chains in between. A treble, seven chains in between. Till you get to the end and remember what I told you at the end. Slip stitch in the fourth chain from the beginning chains and that will complete round four. I will meet you at round five and let you know what you're going to do in round five. So our piece is progressing nicely and uh, now for round five we are going to begin the corners. So for this round I will do the whole round with you unlike the previous uh, rounds. Um, obviously for the previous rounds I hope you have been pausing the video just in case you needed to catch up uh, but for this round I will be there throughout guiding you on where to do the corners 
Okay, to begin round five, we are going to do 12 chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And in the next treble, we are going to make our first corner. So in order to do the corners, we're going to do a treble as normal and then two chains in between and then in the same space we are going to do another treble Oops. two chains again and then our final treble in that same space Okay, so that's our first corner. Now we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we are just going to do one treble in the next chain, the, the next treble from the previous round in the top in the chain, okay? And then we're going to do eight chains, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once again, just a single treble. Okay, oops, let me just do that again. Okay, and eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we are going to do our second corner. So just like in the, the in the first space we did, three trebles in the first corner, as we did in the first corner. So that's three trebles. And don't forget the two chain spaces in between. First treble, two chains. Second treble, two chains. And our third treble. Okay, so that is our second corner. So that's our first corner. And then we have three spaces in between and then we have our second corner here okay so let's continue so we're going to chain eight again one two three four five six seven eight and then a treble in the next treble and eight again one two three four five six seven eight and another treble single one one two three four five six seven eight and we are going to start our third corner so you should know this cobra now so that is a treble two chains another treble two chains and our last treble of that corner and that's a third corner done okay so now again eight chains one two three four five six seven eight treble eight chains one two three four 
five, six, seven, eight, and a treble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and our next corner now. That's a treble, two chains, treble, two chains, treble, and then eight chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a treble in the next treble. Eight chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a treble in the next treble. Oh, there isn't a next treble. So we just have to go to the fourth chain from the beginning chains that we did. One, two, three, four, and do a slip stitch. Okay like that okay so just in order to check you are right with your corners there should be three spaces in between each corner okay so one two three one two three and these bottom corners one two three and one two three so we are spot on So I'm going to let you work on this row by yourselves so you know what you have to do. Each corner you are going to leave four chain spaces in between the trebles and eight chain spaces between the corners. So that's eight chain spaces between the trebles between the corners, okay? So um, I'll let you work on that and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm just coming to the end of a round six. So I have done my chains and I'm going to end this round by doing my slip stitch in the fourth chain from the beginning chains that we had done, okay? So that completes round six. So in between your corners, you should have three spaces, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, a corner, one, two, three, and that's a corner there. So three spaces in between the corners. Okay, so for round seven, we are going to do 12 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we are going to do a treble in the first treble of a corner trebles from the previous round. And now instead of four that we had done previously, we are going to do six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then a treble again. And then six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then a treble again. And this completes our corner. And now we are going to do eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So we're going to do a treble in the next treble, the top of the next treble. And then eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Treble in the next treble. Eight chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we come to the corner. So once again, treble in the first treble from the set of trebles from the previous round. And chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Treble in the second treble of the set. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then a treble in the last treble of that corner. Okay, so once again, I'm going to leave you to do this round to complete it by yourselves. So just remember in between the corners, we are going to do six chains um, between the trebles in the corner and you should once again have three spaces in between corners corner there corner there and three spaces so complete the next two corners and let's meet at the end of this round Okay, now for round eight. Uh, round eight is quite easy because we are doing eight chains between uh, the trebles at our corners as well as the trebles on the sides as well. Okay, so it's quite an easy round, but, but I'll start it off with you. So to begin with, we are going to do chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then a treble in the next treble and that's the treble of our corner and then we're going to do 8 chains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then a treble in the next treble And then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a treble in the next treble. And then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a treble in the next treble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then a treble in the next treble. Okay, and then you will just continue this way. Corner or not, there will be eight chains in between. So to begin row 9, we are going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And we are going to do a treble in the next treble from the previous round. Okay, and now we are going to chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and now we are going to do a corner stitch, a new corner stitch again. So that is a treble. Oops. Three chains one, two, three, 
a treble, three chains, one, two, three, and a third treble in the same space. Okay, so that's our three trebles. We formed another corner here. Now we are going to do eight, um, eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are going to do a treble in the next treble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a treble in the next treble. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And eight chains after that treble. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let me just check if it's time for a corner. We should have five spaces between a corner. So that's one, two, three, four. So next treble will be our corner stitch. So that's one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight. And at this stage, I think I'm going to have to join up my yarn so I will meet you um, okay so I have just joined my yarn and now we are going to do the second corner of this round so that is a treble three chains a treble three chains and that's all in that same space. Oops. Okay. So for this round, you're going to make your corner and then leave a five spaces in between one, two, three, four, five and then do your second corner, okay? So I'm going to leave you to do it and I will meet you at the end of the round. Over here, you would just make sure that you have five spaces between this first corner and your fourth corner. And here you would just end it by doing a slip stitch in the fourth chain, okay? So three chain spaces in between um, your trebles in the corner and eight, chase, eight chain spaces in between your corners, eight chains between your trebles on the sides, okay? So I will leave you to do it and let's meet at the end. Okay, so now we are going to begin round 10. So for round 10, we are going to chain 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In the next treble, we are going to do a treble. And then we are going to chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have now reached our corner. So we are going to do a treble.
and then we are going to do six chains one two three four five six and then we're going to do another treble in the second treble of a corner from the previous round and then six chains in between two three four five six and then we are going to do our last tre treble of this set and that's our corner done Okay, we finished the uh, first corner of round 10. Now we are going to continue by doing chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then a treble in the next treble. And then eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a treble in the next treble. And then eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A treble in the next. Oops, that was a double, just a moment. Okay, so that's a treble. And then eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a treble in the next. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've reached a corner so we are going to do a treble and then six one two three four five six and then a treble in the second treble and six one two three four five six and then a treble in the last treble from that set okay so that's what a piece looks like as of now so i'm going to leave you to do it uh finish this round off and then i will meet you at the beginning of round 11 so we've just got a couple of more rounds to go before we finish our panel okay so remember in between the corners um in between these uh, trebles you have to do six chains okay and on the sides you have to do eight chains treble eight chains treble eight chains but when you come to the corner it's six chains so uh, finish that round and let's meet up again to begin round 11. Okay, so now we are going to begin row 11 and we will begin with 12 chains and then in between the trebles we are going to do 8 irrespective of whether they are the corner trebles or the side trebles. So it will just be 8, ch eight chains between the trebles in this round. So I will start it off with you. 12 chains, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to do our treble in the next treble. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have reached our corner. And we are going to do eight in between these trebles in the corner as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
treble in the next treble of that corner eight one two three four five six seven eight eight one two three four five six seven eight and then a treble in the next treble okay and just continue this way all around okay so eight chains in between all the trebles in this round and then I will meet you to do round 12 okay so I've just finished round 11 and before we proceed to round 12 you should actually see if this size is good enough for you if it is then there is no need to continue in my case I will be doing 12 rounds as I feel that's going to be the right size for me I've already laid one of the panels across my body and I feel that is the right size so you should do the same and if you want you can attach two panels your front and your back panel uh, attach them with safety pins try on your garment and then make any adjustments after that however if you are continuing with round 12 i will show you what to do next okay so round 12 is actually just a repetition of round 11 so we are going to do 12 chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and then a double crochet and then eight chains one two three four five six seven eight and then a double crochet sorry a tri triple and then eight one two three four five six seven eight and another triple and just continue this way all around so that's eight chains in between each treble corners and sides okay so i'm just coming to the end of round 12 so i'm going to end with a slip stitch in the fourth chain from those beginning chains and we are finished okay so what you have to do now is make an identical panel to this, another one. So one's for the front and one's for the back. And in case you have to make your size bigger than this, you can continue repeating this round a couple of more times. So maybe for round 13 and 14, you could repeat round 12. However, if you're making it even bigger than round 14 then i suggest you add a chain in between so instead of eight you would do nine but this um is about a uk size 20 it's on the big side so i think this should be um, an ideal fitting for most of us plus size women but just in case you need to make it bigger just repeat this round okay so i have both my pieces ready for the front and for the back and they're looking gorgeous can't wait to attach them and make a new top out of them okay so at this stage if you wanted to you could actually loosely attach them here either with a safety pin on the sides and on the shoulder as well 
or just do a single crochet loosely just so that you can do a fitting before you do the final uh, attachment of these two pieces I will show you how to attach them um, and if you have uh, your own preferred method feel free to use that but I will show you um, a way that I will be attaching these two pieces together So to begin joining, um, make sure that you've placed your pieces with the right side facing up and so the wrong sides will be inside, okay? Right sides will be outside. So now that we have the right sides facing up and the wrong sides inside, we can begin joining. So I'm going down to a five millimeter crochet hook to join. And the first thing we need to do is find the corners of both the pieces that we are going to join. So that's our first corner. You can see from the three chains there. So we are going to start in the middle and find the corresponding corner at the bottom as well, which is this chain here, this stitch here, okay? So normally we would go in this way, but we are going to go the opposite way. Okay, so from the opposite side, just get my yarn. and pull through pull through and secure it by just doing a single crochet like that okay so we can weave in that tail later on so now we are going to do eight chains one two three four five six seven eight and then we are going to do a treble in the first treble on our top piece. Okay, then we're going to remove our hook and go onto the bottom piece and onto that corresponding treble. Take your hook put it in from the other way and pull out that loop okay so eight chains again one two three four five six seven eight treble in the next treble from the top the top piece okay Pull out your crochet hook, go on to the corresponding treble on the bottom piece and remove that loop. Okay, so now we're going to do eight again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. going to do a treble in the next treble on the top piece remove your hook <clears throat> come on to the corresponding treble on the bottom piece insert your hook and remove the loop eight again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a treble in the next piece. Sorry, in the next treble. And then on the bottom, take the corresponding treble, put your crochet hook in, and Pull out that loop. So you okay. will just continue. So you will continue the piece way until and then you reach leave some space for the armhole, and then you would 
join your shoulder as well okay leaving space for the neck and then start again from this side so again you would stitch along leaving space for the armhole here and then attach your shoulders as well over there okay so just wanted to remind you that we should leave some space for the armhole 